Good evening, oh, wrestling. Oh, oh, hold on there, Afro Thunder. No, that's not how it works. Old school over new school. Good evening, wrestling fans. I'm your host, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And Jay, the whiz kid of pro wrestling. And this is Evolution, Evolution of, of pro, pro Wrestling. Wrestling. And we are Evolution's Riot of Pro Wrestling. Why? No politics, no bullshit, just straight pro wrestling. Oh, thank you. Good. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank no, you for that introduction. I, 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 do it, I do it better. I do it better, but that was, that was good. That was good. Check this guy out. Good. And watching uh, first off is our producer and director, uh, my lovely wife, Yesenia, and your stepmom. Thank you, honey, for joining us. I thank you. Um, thank you join, for joining us, wrestling fans. We got a great show. The finale of Legends Month. Comes to an end. The final arc. Final arc <laughs> of three amazing legends are going to be in a topic on this show. Yes. But before that, we are going to get into professional wrestling news. News time. News so, time. Apparently, news time. there is rumors going around that Ronda Rousey is going to beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania Backlash for the SmackDown Women's title. That's um pretty interesting. I don't think many fans are gonna like that. You know, they 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 she just came back and she's already getting a title shot, she's already gonna win the title, but there is also speculation of Ronda Rousey fighting Bianca Belair, title for title. That is kind of a dream match happening. Bradley, what's going on, brother? Loyal fan, he loves uh, our shows. Thank you for joining us. Um that would actually be very interesting. Well, it possibly would be. You know, though Bianca Belair is tough. She is. Bianca Belair is Oscar definitely is yes. Back. Oscar oh. is back. I forgot to tell you that. I was going to mention Oscar that on the show. Is back. Oscar is back in the picture. She's it's back in the women's division. It's been a while since I've seen her. Uh, like, what even happened to her? Like, she uh, she got hurt. She got hurt. She, she got oh. hurt. She had a serious injury. And she came back. She mm. took some time off and she came back. But she went right after Becky Lynch. Right after Becky Lynch. Wow. So let's see how that's going to go. Let's see. That's really interesting. Wow. Now, Jaden, hmm. what do you think about Oscar returning? Oscar returning? Do you think now that she's wow. back, is it changing the women's division? It could change. Depending on what they do with Oscar, it could definitely change the women's division because, like, um, you know. Oscar, we all know Asuka is, you know, like that, like, really heel character, but I would on, or face character, I'm sorry, I would like Asuka to be not like a stone cold, but like a person, like, she, I would like her to be her own person. She's nor a heel or a face. Hey, Felix, what's hey. going on, brother? Felix, <laughs> I hope she's more like a, a non-heel, a non-heel or a non-face. Like, she got that Japanese ritual Listen, going on I, with the mask. I would prefer her as I would, a heel. I would prefer her as neither. A top heel. I would like her like You want to create a cold. heel besides Becky Lynch for the women's division? That's the perfect person I to create I feel like they right should now. make her as her own character. Like, no heel nor face. Like, she should embrace she that. She could Jap be an Austin. That a Japanese, Japanese Austin. character. Exactly. A Japanese that Stone Cold Steve Austin. Embrace that Japanese character. The masks she comes with. The attire is absolutely awesome and that's why i think she should have her own personal character oh absolutely ain't it crazy when oscar was given the title from becky now she versus her for the title yeah that is crazy how that's ironic right the, the, the very very coincidental that's not my female muda a fem yeah. uh, female muda because muda was like that too so hey uh torture yamato thank you for joining us thank you thank you um, this yeah, one, she, Great Muda was back and forth. One moment he was heel, one moment he was face. It was a neutral thing. Like, one minute the fans would hate him, one minute the fans would love him, and he was extraordinary in the ring. Like, he was absolutely extraordinary in the ring, and I just love his, his wrestling. Like, holy man, holy cow, like, when you see Asuka, mm -hmm. I see the women's division changing forever. I agree. She needs a manager. I feel like she could use a manager, but I think Asuka could also do good without one. Like, I don't know. You know, I feel like that's one of those type of scenarios where she can do one or the other. You know, a manager wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't and, be and not bad, for nothing, the person to me, I think they should put as a manager, Sonny Ono. Bring Sonny Ono into the WWE. I remember Muda had one. That's what I'm saying. If they do plan on making her like another Muda or something, then cool, the manager. But that is why I said I feel like uh, Asuka should do her own thing. Like, 
She should just be like, you know, yes. Muda did have one. I forgot. I forgot what was this. I think it was Gary Hart. Was it? I, I believe it was Gary Hart. That was uh, the the great Muda's manager. <laughs> My manager. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. When it come when it comes to managing professional wrestling stars, it works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. You know, but one of them is definitely Paul Heyman oh, that is managing the Usos, who are currently kind of on a losing streak. They had an amazing match on Monday Night Raw. Um, it was an eight-man colossal match. RK awesome. Bro, Cody Rhodes, and get this, already Ezekiel in that mix oh, against yeah. uh, the Usos, Kevin Owens, and Seth freaking Rollins. It was an amazing match. Um, many are speculating, though, that Matt Riddle is kind of getting uh, on the jealous type, you know, of Cody and Orton's little relationship, friendship. Is there a heel turn with Riddle? Oh. Jada, what do you think? Well, is there some jealousy like, going on? Well, like, what people, what people have to understand is I also do feel like. That wasn't him coming back, you know, you know, for those who know why Cody came back, if you know, you know, but I feel like another one of those reasons came, he came back was because of Randy Orton. Exactly. A legacy, legacy reunion. reunion. I feel like, you know, since those two have really big history together, I don't think they're going to make them as far as maybe a tag team, but they could build up, you know, a small little plot where, you know, they're um, coming back to friendship. Matt Riddle gets jealous, and then he turns heel on Randy Orton, mm -hmm. and no more RK, bro. Exactly. Now, I could be wrong. There could be a legacy reunion, but then that would mean Ted DiBiase would have to come back as well. If you plan on making Legacy whole again, and I've never, I haven't heard of Ted DiBiase since like no, 2013. I don't so. think Ted DiBiase is gonna return. Nah, you know, he just so. he he's he's good. <laughs> they don't they don't need him back. You yeah, know, but. Nah. There's one thing that there's one person that also we forgot to mention that returned um, to the WWE was Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, and they put him right into the picture of having a feud with the Miz, and he had a, a really good match against the Miz. But out of nowhere, now no longer Tommaso Ciampa, he is just Ciampa, attacked Mustafa Ali from behind. Mm. Now we have a rivalry going between these two. I still want Mustafa Ali to join Edge's little crusade. Listen, going on. this rivalry between Tomasa Champa and Mustafa Ali, it's going to be an interesting uh, rivalry because those two can really get down in the ring. Mm -hmm. You know, but I still want to see Matt Riddle turn heel. I think it'll happen. I want to see it. I think it's going to happen. I want to see it happen. I want. I think it's going to happen. And I want him to join Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin? Yeah. Really? Those two together that would as be, two heels? Give him cool. the push. That would be Give really him the cool. push at least for the United States title. Make him a top at least a champion. Yeah, or something. something. Right. Something Make at least. Make him a lead card. Even put him for the... For the well, you can't well, do for the Universal WWE because... Will they destroy Champa's character? I'm, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I, I hope not. not. Tomasa Champa is a great athlete. And him in WWE as a heel like that, like, that's the perfect character. I honestly think the Universal Champion is, like, unnecessary space. Like, that's not it. That's a title that shouldn't even be there. But I guess, you know, since it's like a new generation, they decided to add another title for both Raw and SmackDown. But I just don't get it, man. You know, like, now the uh, Raw Women's title is red. Um... The regular title is a uh, blue, so it's like, man, I don't know. They there's have some, there's, many, a lot, there's a lot of different titles. colors. There's a lot of different colors. Too many. They keep you know, the now, same generic. They, need, they, colors. they pretty much know what they pretty much need to do is just do the unification title, make one, for every single title, and make one single title. I still like that theory one. that people have been making up where the um. The bloodline is just gonna take over and claim every single title. Like I really hope that does happen. When the bloodline just you Takes see the Intercontinental and the, in the United, United States, States. that would be perfect. States. That would be perfect. They want to make some money. That'll be the best way. Best way to do it. And not for nothing, since Roman Reigns really hasn't been fighting anybody with his title, because mm -hmm. apparently I think he's still hurt. So he got hurt. Yeah, he, he oh, uh, from WrestleMania. 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 Yep, he got hurt. WrestleMania. And like, okay. 
keep that, it simple, make a multi title for all brands. Exactly. Agree. Exactly. Keep it simple. Exactly. Keep it simple. Let it go. You know. But I don't know what's going on with WWE. WWE got their head somewhere else. They got their head in the sky right now, so I don't well, know what's going in, on either. In other news, with AEW, AEW apparently uh, is bringing William Morrissey, a.k.a. Big Cass, to AEW. Oh. The promo that uh, Matt Riddle mentioned said that uh, the person I'm bringing in is smarter than you, and he's better than you, and he's taller than you, mm. and you can't teach that. Oh, so that wow. was kind of like that's 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 a, clearly that a, a hint. hint. That was kind of Big a hint Cass that Big is Cass coming. is going to AEW. And this this man has changed. Like this has dude been. is Brock solid. <laughs> I mean, like he is Diesel. He is. <laughs> oh, I gotta. Okay, I gotta see him after that. Like wow. Like he, he he's rock chisel. Like, it's been a, it's been a while. He recently in Impact power bombed the shit out of a female athlete. Oh, he's savage. Like, super savage. Oh. He destroyed the shit out of her. Like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> wow. Like, let me see. Let me see. I'm, I'm going to find it for you. But, yo, you seeing Big Cass power bombing, power bombing people like that? That's that's pop, that's, cr <clears throat> that's crazy. That's crazy. That's wow. crazy. Like that is wild. Uh, he did it to Chelsea Green, as a matter of fact. It's right, it's right here. It was, oh, my God. Look at this. She slapped him. Oh, that's she him kept, now? She kept slapping. You see how big he is, right? Oh, jeez. Look at this. Power bomb. Straight through the oh. damn table. Like, man. Big cast Enzo next. Oh, Imagine man. if Enzo oh, is No, but next. Enzo's like this too now. Enzo is Enzo big. Enzo is a beast. Hey. Hey. It's a possibility. Let, let's not let's let's not get our let's not get away with this. There's a big possibility that he can go to AEW listen, as well. Listen, he could he could make a big name for himself in AEW. It's that a big hurt, possibility listen, for William. I would say give him the W the AEW World Heavyweight Title. I agree. That man is he, he has really evolved. He is, seems he's like he's taking care of himself. He's doing what he got to do. And Ryder now and Hawking are back together again. Ah. Interesting. Where, where, which organization? Yeah, what organization? And speaking of organization, Ray Phoenix has returned to mm. um, uh, one of the excellent additions of AEW's talent. They do well. They do. Um, but unfortunately, the former iconic members, um, Cassie Lee and Jesse McKay, formerly known as Inspiration in AEW, are retiring. Wow. Um, it's 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 unfortunate, you know. It's unfortunate that they had to retire. You know, they were good superstars, and yeah, it's it's went tough. Short. Career went short. I don't. We don't know why they were retired. I guess they would just want to take some time off, you know. But hey, whatever they enjoy. Whatever they exactly right. Whatever you know, they but, gotta uh, do. You know, but well, you know what else we enjoy? When you wrestling fans share our content all over social media, bring your friends, your cousins, family, anybody. We are Evolution's Riot of Pro Wrestling. Why? Because there's no politic talk, no bullshit, straight pro wrestling. Uh, thank you. Now follow, share, like, and comment. Thank you. And now back to our regularly, uh, our regularly, regularly. scheduled program. <laughs> But yeah, also Scorpio Sky um, became the two-time uh, TNT champion mm -hmm. in AEW, winning a ladder match. So it, it, AEW is doing some good things, but their ratings are still going down. You know, why do you think that's happening, Jay? You think this what's missing I mean, from them? Mm, I don't feel like there's anything missing right now. You know, the content is amazing. You know, they're like TV 14 or possibly higher. They do things that WWE doesn't do anymore. And that's really what I respect about AEW. Mm -hmm. But I really think it's something like a lot Oh, they were just flipping off somebody on TV. Somebody just flipped off Chris Jericho like that. That's what I'm no saying. So I really think it's like more so in like the back... Um, the locker room. There's a lot of things going on in the locker room, probably between management I think, no, I, I, I and think, things. I, I think it's like something more deeper than well, inside okay. the Well, okay, CM Punk versus Hangman, Adam, oh, Adam Page Hangman, okay, that's, it's going to be a good match. But should we give the title to, to CM Punk right now? 
You know, how, how is all the talent in AEW going to feel about that? He's been, I mean, CM Punk has been on a blast since he came back to wrestling. And, you know, it's been a while since he's been wrestling inside of a ring. So. Well, he, what, do you, what do you think he's going to do? What do you think fans are going to think if he wins the AEW title? I mean, I don't think he's going to. And he, mm-hmm. is he even going to have that long of a reign? In AEW. Well, that, and I don't think he's one of the favorites to win it either. So it's like, that's kind of hard to say. Because it's like, we don't know if he's one of the favorites to win it. or Hangman should like hold that. it for a while. Hang, he should still Hang continue Man holding should. it. Yep. Hold that title. Build his name up. Build the character. You know what I mean? CM Punk is there to push. You know, yeah, to win. He can win some matches. You yeah. know, get some good heels. Yeah. But, you know, give him... Give them a chance to push other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what they do. That's what you need to do. If you're a true professional, that's what you need to do. I think you know? Kenny will come back. That would be pretty awesome if Kenny Omega does come oh, back. Oh, of course. Of course. Kenny Omega is fire. He He's might like come. Listen, I am wrestlers. anticipating this pay-per-view of Forbidden Door I with AEW know. and New Japan. I'm I, excited. I'm oh super excited God, about that. Forbidden Door. Me I too. am excited Kenny about versus that. Hangman Page. I am excited to watch that event. I'm telling you. And legends are going to be created. Oh, yes. Of course. But, Jaden, yeah. when you talk about legends, brings us to our finale. Of Legends Month. Yes. Legends Month Part 4. The final. Four. <laughs> and last show of Legends Month. Yes. Like it or not, in today's wrestling, the title needs to be on a name for casual fans. Yep, you're absolutely right. Christopher Brown, welcome, brother. You alive! <laughs> Lewis, mean, this is Pump. We're about to go talking about. You and I both know how massive his ego is. Do you honestly think he's going to do the job for Hangman? Exactly. It's going to be interesting. I mean, Chris be in the group, the group chat we have, so it's like... Well, I haven't seen him in a while, but he, he has some interesting things going on. But yes, Legends Month, the finale. The Legends we're about to present to you... Uh, hey, Lewis and Daniel, what's going on, man? I heard you had a great show uh, April 24th. You had an uh, uh, EGCW, EGCW show. And uh, we, we saw the pictures. We saw everything was good. We saw you turn heel, my man. Good job. Uh, it was great. New champion. Uh, new EGCW World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, Bone Crusher from Dis- uh, Destruction, Destruction Inc. Inc. So uh, they're, doing, they're doing great things. Doing great things, man. We fully support independent wrestling. These three legends we're about to announce revolutionize professional wrestling forever. Mm-hmm. They've had rivalries against each other. They've also been friends, great friends. First person I'm gonna name is, oh yeah, the macho man, Randy Savage. Dig it, dig it, dig it, brother. Shit, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Then you have, brother, brother, brother. Woo! The nature boy. The kid stealing, really dealing, son of a gun. Ric Flair. Then you have the legendary <laughs> Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. <laughs> Do your shit pants. <laughs> Don't shit your pants with that savage toy shit. This guy. <laughs> welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, I'm not gonna shoot my pants, brother. No, brother, 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 brother. Next thing you know, a uh, vet, I'll be right back. I need to go change my pants. <laughs> but those are the three legends <laughs> that we <laughs> that we will discuss tonight in our show. Oh yeah, brother. Jaden. Yes. When you hear these three legends, <laughs> Savage, Steamboat, Flair, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Greatness. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. You know, all three of these guys have history <laughs> with each other. Like, every single one of these guys, I'm pretty sure every single one of them's fought each other at least one time. So, oh, these more guys, than once. More than, that's why I said at least one time. Because I know they probably fought more. So, listen. Excuse me. So, when I hear this, those names, it's just, it's just. To this greatness. day, I will always say it 
Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Macho Man Randy Savage. Best match of all time, WrestleMania 3. Is Ricky Steamboat Japanese? No, he's Hawaiian actually. Oh wow. He's he from looks, Hawaii. He looks Japanese. Yeah, he's, he's from Hawaii though. Oh. <laughs> you sure he's not Japanese? No, he's from Hawaii. Nani? Nani? What the hell is a Nani? Nani ga mushirui? No, he's not Japanese. Inocho? Nanda to You hear this clown? <laughs> Nobody understands what I'm saying. Of um, course not. If you watch Demon Slayer, you would probably understand. The, the heel was coming out. The heel was coming out. Good luck. You don't watch Demon Slayer. Former IC champion, former heavyweight champion, the Macho Man Randy Savage. The one of the best. Man. Crazy as shit. He was cra- <laughs> like he was crazy. Like he he had his falling out. Like he the, the heel, heel hit, hit us, us with, with the Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> oi oi oi. The hell was that? Oi, oi, oi. My my son is being weird. Look, some some <laughs> boy with seriously. Hey, you, <laughs> you bringing us in the last dragon in this shit? This is wrestling, damn it! Savage versus Warrior. That was an excellent. That, that match actually so surprised boy. me. Stick, 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 stick to it, man. Some Mess up the microphone. Boy. <laughs> Some young boy. Uh, uh, That's from the last dragon. Something wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, back to the topic at hand, please. Shit. All right. So back to our legends. Oh, that god. WrestleMania match was extraordinary. It surprised me because I didn't think Warrior had it in him mm-hmm. to have that match at WrestleMania Seven, a career-ending match against the Macho Man Randy Savage. So when are we going to see some Two K Twenty Two on here? I don't know, Dad. When are we seeing some Two K Twenty Two? Give me, give me a little bit. I gotta buy it. I gotta. I buy got Two K Twenty, but I don't got Twenty Two yet. Don't worry. When I get, when I get there, I'm gonna give you out a spanking. All right, you don't want this shit. Oh my God, he can barely beat me. What is he talking about? You never played me, son. You can still barely beat me. I will whip your ass. Oh, uh, Brian, can you inform this child here what we used to do? The matches we used to have on on PlayStation. Padrino Brian, keyword. Used to. Used to. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Aye, aye, aye. Aye. So, we are in episode four. You got a wrestling promotion. You pick your fourth and final superstar. Final wrestler, Hall of Famer, legend, everything you can count on. Woo! Who would you pick to headline your main event at WrestleMania for the world title against, check this out, The Undertaker? What was, what was all that for? What was, what was all the slapping? The chest excitement. For? The excitement. Deal with it. Okay. Okay. D- d- calm down. Undertaker against this headliner. Who would it be? Hmm. What would you fans think? That's a good question because I'm all three. Ryan, I know you got I know you got one in this one because you're a Taker fan to the end. Taker fan. That's his favorite wrestler. He said we almost broke the controllers. Exactly. (laughs) See, that for my asshole. (laughs) We were literally (laughs) over. We almost broke the controller. That's how bad bad we got to play. No, that's how crazy we were playing. Listen, (laughs) there was one. Listen, I kid you not, Jaden. There was one time when me and Brian played a match. He was the Undertaker. I was King. A last man standing match. <laughs> I swear to God, the match nearly went on for a half hour. Oh my God. A ha- I think it was an hour, half hour, one of those two, Ryan. I don't, I don't really remember, but it went on it for a, long, for a time. long, long time. Reversal <laughs> after reversal. Knockout after knockout. Blood <laughs> after blood. Like they, The shit hit the fan. Oh, Taker versus... Eddie Guerrero, that would be a good. That match. would be a great match, okay. but we're not talking about Eddie Guerrero. We're no, talking about Steam, Steamboat Savage or, ta- or or Flair. Which one of those is gonna be? I might go with Steamboat for the Taker thing. versus the ass of the table. Laugh a mask. <laughs> the what? I'm gonna go with ta- I'm gonna go with Steamboat for this one. Okay, why Steamboat? Well, like you said, you made a valid point that I actually agree with. Um, that Ricky Steamboat and Macho Man had an amazing match. Mm-hmm. Um, during WrestleMania, so I feel like you know, 
part of that match was due to I wouldn't really say Steamboat carrying him, but due to the fact that they kind of understood each other's minds. Mm -hmm. So it's like that is what basically connected them to have the greatest, possibly the greatest WrestleMania match in history. And Undertaker's one of those guys that th <laughs> that thinks like one of those uh, uh, Undertaker is one of those guys that is a very critical thinker when you gets into the ring. And Steamboat is that exact same way. So I would like to see those two clash in the ring. That would be an awesome battle. That would be, that an, would awesome be an awesome battle. battle. Taker like versus Steamboat would definitely be an awesome battle. I would like to see him and Steamboat. Steve, listen, Steve him Steve and Steamboat for sure. Listen, let me tell you something. And I'm sure the fans are going to agree with this. If you can keep up for one hour with the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, oh, yeah, you're, you can keep up with him. You made it. You made it to the big Because Ric Flair knew how to put on a damn match and shit. He really put on several matches against Macho Man, against Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, against many other superstars that didn't really belong. Tiger versus Steamboat, Dragon, Dragon versus, versus the Dead, Dead Man. Man. Writes itself. Exactly. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Thank you. Put it in here. Put it. In, put it in the best words possible. Steamboat has fight in him that no one has. He is constant. He doesn't stop. Then put him against the Phenom, the unstoppable force that is the Undertaker. That's that is true. Steamboat would be long term match. It would be a five star match. Hell yeah. Hell, it would be an instant classic. Yeah. Instant classic. Ricky Steamboat is like the normal. Now here's my question, and Brian, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this as a favor. <laughs> Please do not be biased. I want a reason, and I want a reason to find out who would win this match and why. I think. I think Ricky Steamboat would win Why? this match. Well, I think Ricky Steamboat would win this match. Like, there's there's actually a few reasons that he could possibly win this match. Like I said, <laughs> oh Lord, Taker. I want to see why. I want to <laughs> hear why. You know, before I say my reason, I do want to hear why he thinks Taker. I'm about to start a debate here. I want to see what he says first. Bradley says heart versus soul. Heart against soul. I want to. I want to see what. Yes, he says. Brian, in, intrigue us, sir. It, Tell us. It, like, elaborate. In your honest elaborate. opinion, because Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is an extraordinary athlete. I want to. I want to hear. And, and Taker has taken on many, many great stars. I want to hear what he has to say for sure. Before I make my claim, I do want to hear this because. Honestly, I'm really intrigued by his option being Taker since <laughs> Taker is especially his favorite wrestler. So I'm honestly intrigued by this, oh, oh, by this oh, pick oh. that he got. I, I, I think we're going we gonna to see a little fireworks again gonna, today. We're going to see a little debate today. That's what's about to happen because mm. I want to I wanna know. I genuinely want to know. Yeah, but no, but this pick, no, but t say your reason why you... No, no, no. I want, I want to see his reason first before I make my he, claim. But we... Mm. We need to hear this claim. Heal. No, I. You need to hear his claim in order to hear my so, claim. All right, so we gotta wait. We we have to wait for you. Who do you think is gonna win? We don't have to wait for me. You could answer while I'm for him. In my opinion, mm -hmm. my humble opinion. But before before you answer that, who do you guys got? Size and power wins over speed. Okay, and I'm gonna get to that. Well, wait, wait. I'm gonna get to that. That has a lot to do with that. Yes. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna yes. get to that. Yes. I'm gonna get to that. Okay, but who do you, besides Dave and uh, Padrino Brian, who do you guys think, you two dad, who do you guys think is taking the match? Steamboat <laughs> or Taker? Because I still okay, want Brian know. hasn't answered yet, so I know he's going to write a long, a long <laughs> paragraph. <laughs> and I can't wait to see this. <laughs> I want to hear this. Uh, me personally, I am. <sighs> dang it, I got to sit down. <laughs> it, it, it's. it's, it's <sighs> Bradley says, I feel like Taker could win because his style, his different style, he could change up on Steamboat and catch Steamboat off guard. Um, it's possible. It is possible. It's possible. But remember, Undertaker at times wasn't really able to deal with the fast, high-flying type superstars. For instance, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy gave him a hell of a match. I shit you not. And he did, and he Undertaker gave he him some did. props. Undertaker did give him some. He props. gave him some props. And said, "Nigga, you a crazy son of a bitch." But you, <laughs> but you did it. You did it. You did it. Yes, and, and, you did. And he got it. I want to see this. Oh, Christopher Taker Brown would have to take that match, Jaden. You have to factor who is more of a crowd favorite into the equation. Okay, but without. Okay, so we're talking about if we're talking about crowd. Fit, okay, so okay, this is the this is the problem here. We're talking about crowd favorites right now. 
We're not talking about that's true, Bradley. Favorites at the moment. It depends. Yeah, on we're, which, we're talking about a match. Which taker? Forget we, about who's heel, who's face. The match, the skill. Put both of them in their prime. Let's just say that both taker. You want and to see Steamboat Ricky? Okay, let's prime. take Ricky Steamboat from from WrestleMania three. Yes, exactly. And take Undertaker from WrestleMania twenty six. And you can combine those two, and you tell me what type of match that is. And how it goes. See, Bradley said it's 50-50. It is. It's tough to call. It is tough to call. It's bro. tough to call because these guys really... Well, he's really writing a long claim, so I'm about to claim mine anyway. So It's tough. I think that... I would say it's a draw. Mm. I would say it could be it a could draw. It could be a draw instead. It could be a draw, but like I said, I feel like Ricky... St oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> all right. All right. Come on, guys. Let me read it. I'm going to read it. All right, I can't uh, read this on the phone. Go. I can't read this on the phone, but I want to see what this says. Uh, here we go. Here we go. He says, "Hands down, Taker. Listen, there is no fight like Steamboat, but Taker definitely has the ability to overcome that fight. He has has he's had the size, strength, speed, experience. I mean, I can go in forever, but we don't have ever. Steamboat will put in the work and push him to the level, but Taker will overcome all of that shit that Steamboat has to give. Overall, Taker will overpower Steamboat. Please tell me otherwise. Okay, see, this is what you guys are oh, You guys, shit. you guys are relying on Here we go. You guys are relying on Taker's right. power. Power Start your size. engines. You boom, guys boom. are relying on Taker's power and size and crowd control too much. Oof. When I understand that you guys are worrying about that because that's the type of guy Taker is. Taker's <laughs> big, he's strong, and he's super fast for speed. But let's not forget what my dad just said a minute ago when he said that he could barely keep up with Jeff Hardy knowing the fact that Jeff Hardy was a speedster going in the ring inside of a ladder match. Oh, now let's get this man. point right. Let's, get this, let's get this correct right here. Here. Ricky Steamboat put an hour match with Ric Flair. He hit a WrestleMania match with Randy. Well, Stavage. well, well. Okay, L listen, listen. I'm not. I'm not to cut you off, but remember, Undertaker had a close to one hour match with Shawn Michaels. He had a too. close to one hour match, but that doesn't top exactly the one hour match. It's not exactly one hour at a time. And like I said, like everybody's saying, you're basically proving my point because one thing about Ricky Steamboat is that he's constant. <laughs> Taker definitely said, kept up with Hardy. Watch Taker that match again, guys. barely Taker, kept up with Taker Hardy. Taker definitely kept up with Hardy. No, Taker, he definitely kept up. He, Taker, but he wasn't he expecting wasn't exactly. a small guy like that to take him because to the limit. Because he was fast. He, Jeff he Hardy took was him fast. to the limit. Don't shake the table. I'm not shaking the table. That's I don't like even have my hands on it. It's the chair. <laughs> Listen. Jeff Hardy. Hold on. Let me finish. Jeff Hardy is, like I said, he's a fast character. And like everybody's saying, Ricky Steamboat was like a professor in wrestling. Don't get me wrong, Undertaker was wise. Undertaker had the brains, the speed, the bronze, all that. But one thing about Ricky Steamboat is that he was smart. You can't beat strength over brains. That's not how that works. You can beat the strongest person alive using their own tactic against them. And that's what I like about Ricky Steamboat is the fact that Ricky <laughs> Steamboat... Said because he was putting Hardy over! No, and exactly. There's no putting over in this match. Just means they both don't got to hold back. Ooh, this they don't got to hold back this in this match. This is a heated debate because they don't got to hold back. Brian Montalvo and Jaden the Heat. They don't, don't got to hold back oh in this goodness, match. This and that's why I exactly okay, said okay, that. Okay, no, I'm not done calm yet. Down. I'm not done. I'm not done. Let me finish my claim. Finish. Like I said, Ricky Steamboat was a professor in wrestling. He was very unpredictable. Holy eventually, cow. Undertaker the is heel gonna, has fully awoken. Eventually, the Undertaker was gonna run out of unpredictable okay, okay. things. Okay. All right. All right. So, so this this my this my next question. This is my next question. You making all this claim? All right. Who's better? Overall, who is the better superstar? Overall, Overall, who's the better, who's superstar? The better superstar? Who's the better wrestler? Dang. Now let's exactly. You got tight Titan. Let's see the claim now. Yes, well, that's the answer. The winner of the match is the fans. Because the fans get the opportunity, opportunity to, to see, see that. that extraordinary match. And uh Dave says Flair didn't have Taker's power to put Steamboat down. Taker does, just like he did Faster Hardy and HBK. Brian says, so just imagine me if Taker wasn't putting putting Lang Hardy over. 
he would have been putting the smackdown on that ass. Like I said, Jeff Hardy was fast. Even if he would have been doing that, Jeff Hardy is still fast and acrobatic. Undertaker cannot do that 24-7. I just mean... Undertaker is a big guy, and yes, he's very acrobatic for his size, but eventually Undertaker okay, is going to run okay. out of And what about Randy Savage? You would have never seen these Randy Savage battling uh, the Undertaker? I wouldn't... I don't know. That wasn't really you know, like... You know, what's up, brother, brother, brother? That wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't <Joke>. really. <laughs> Look at me. That wasn't really talked about much, and I feel like, I feel like it wasn't really like a carrying and carrying type thing. But I feel like without, without Macho Man and Steamboat, or without Steamboat and that Macho Man match at WrestleMania, say hold you. I just feel. <laughs> but without Steamboat and that WrestleMania three match, there would have been no close to greatest WrestleMania. Like, if he was to probably fight somebody else, that match would have probably, wouldn't have probably been as good. And I say that because, like I said, Steamboat was a professor of professional wrestling. This man had probably, like, at least a thousand, uh, not exactly a thousand moves, but he had, like, he was, like, three steps ahead every time he got in the ring. Ricky Steamboat was a genius. Okay, now, let so me, let me I ask think you a question. Let that was you. the case. Okay, let me ask you a question. Ricky Steamboat was really smart. We saw, we yes. saw at WrestleMania at one point, mm. Ric Flair yes. and The Undertaker. Yep. But, many people say, what if that match would have happened when Ric Flair was in his prime? When Ric Flair was the dirtiest player in the game, Ric Flair. And Undertaker was in his prime as the phenom, The Undertaker. Undertaker. Who would win that match? I might go with The Undertaker for this one. Why is that? I'm going to go with The Undertaker because, like, it was kind of points proven. But, you know, Ric Flair, Ric Flair was an amazing wrestler. I'm not going to take that away from him. That man has a great job. 16-time world time, champion. That man is, like, a very technical wrestler. He can get he, down no, and listen, ring. He can, he can put down. you over. When he want to put, put you, you over, he can. he can put you over. And that's right? what I'm saying. I feel like, you know... Guys that, are, that were in the Four Horsemen left the Four Horsemen and ended up going to be this top star. You know? Let me tell, let me tell you something about professional wrestling. There is, there is a few things that only wrestlers can have. They either have strength and no, no, no brains or brains and very little strength. Undertaker is one of those type of guys that has it all. He has the speed, the strength, the brains. Undertaker can do it all in the ring. So I think... That he won't only just oversize Ric Flair, but he's possibly, he could possibly outmaneuver no, Ric Flair. No, no, no. I'm not talking about 1992, Bradley. I'm not talking about that type of Ric Flair. I'm talking about NWA Four Horsemen going to WCW Ric Flair. I the man that had an hour match with Ricky Steamboat. The man that had an hour match with Bruiser Brody. The man that had a match with one hour with Sting when Sting was first being built up. As this face character, that's the Ric Flair I would want to see. Face I the still, Undertaker. I still think the Undertaker would win it, though. It would be a great match. It would be like a really close match, but I still think that Taker would take that one. Of course, Taker would take. Oh, that wait one. a minute, hold on. He said, uh, "Steamboat was a genius. Steamboat and always will be the definition of wrestling, not sports entertainment. But you can't tell me that he left that type of legacy that." Taker has had takes legacy speaks itself. Watch the Hall of Fame again. You tell me if Steamboat for that type of if you tell me Steamboat of that type of ovation, I'll wait. What does that got to do with them fighting each other though? That has that's Hall of Fame. Okay, that's not fighting. That's In Hall that of Fame. defense, no, but what he's trying to say the attraction. We're the not attraction, talking about their fans. The winning, the, winning the match, winning the match. Uh, <laughs> We're not talking about the attraction. We're just talking about those okay. two. Just those two. I would have to say with this one, two different eras. Yeah, that's really hard to... That's hard to... That's, really that's hard, hard to, because that's really hard. 
What if Steamboat was in the same era as The Undertaker? Undertaker. Would he have gotten the same ovation as The that's Undertaker? That's what I'm saying. I you feel know, like the thing that saved Undertaker was the fact that he was in a whole other generation. Oh, his gimmick Taker, is what ch- is what is what's a charge. Without, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I feel he like he made The Undertaker. Taker. He is The Undertaker. Undertaker practically became untouchable the moment he became the phenom. There was no more stopping him after that. It didn't matter if he lost a match. Okay. There was no so, more stopping him. So he was untouchable. He could have been touchable if he was back in Ricky okay. Stebo and Macho Man's era, but he wasn't because he was in his own era doing his own thing, making the company great again. So Taker's fight got him where he's at. Laughing my ass off, but I know we are not focusing on him, so we can move forward from Taker laughing my ass off. No, we are not going to move on from Taker. Why? Because there's a twist to the show. We are now discussing every single legend we, we discuss from the beginning. We got 20 minutes left. Let's make it count for the finale of every single legend that was in our show. Mm-hmm. You had Mick Foley when you mentioned The Undertaker. Mick Foley and him had an amazing rivalry with those two. That was amazing. Like, <laughs> the hell of a cell speaks itself. Of course. And then you got Ricky Steamboat and Ric Flair. Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair at Bash at the Beach. You got Big Van Vader and um, Ric Flair also were rivalry. What other legends were on there? Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair. I think Shawn Michaels was one of them. Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. So imagine. There was a lot of them. There was a lot of them. There was a lot of old school superstars. There's three legends. There was Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan. Shawn Michaels, Ric Flair, all of the... What are you smoking? You said he beats all of them? What? I need what you're smoking. <laughs> Pass it here. Well, he said most of them. I'm about to say, I need what you're... <laughs> I need what you're poofing right now because <laughs> you just said all of them and most of them? He said, okay, so oh, bleep that. Oh, no. F that. No, Take her beat no. all those legends. Wow. Oh, That no, is a bull. No. Boy, no, he said I caught no. myself. <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hold on. He, he, he said he caught all himself. Of, most he of them. He caught himself. Most what? of them is even pushing it. What? Wow. Even most of them is going over the Holy borderline. Wow. What? Are you kidding me? Maybe some. I don't Maybe think he some. beats most of them, but he okay, beats a okay. few of you, them. Okay. <laughs> I was in full. I was in it. No. Full emotion, my guy. Andre would. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true fan. Okay, read That's down the true list fan. again. Okay, the list is. Listen, we had the first show Who that had it? the Undertaker. The Undertaker. The Icon Sting. Mick Foley. Now, what was the second? The second one? show was Andre the Giant, Dusty Rolls, and Big Van Vader. The third show was Hulk Hogan, Roddy Piper, and Shawn Michaels. And this one, Steamboat, Savage, and Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Woo! <laughs> now, come on. You got Roddy Piper. You got Shawn Michaels. Andre the Giant, please intrigue me on who this man can beat he out of this crew. Said I want to know. Most of he said them. most of them. He got in full force. Most I'm take of them? What? No, he was in full mode with the heel. Most that, that was of good. Them? That's a true fan. That's a true most fan right there. Of them. Hey, don't knock him. I'm a Hulk Hogan fan, and Hulk Hogan, I think Hulk most Hogan could beat all of them. Well, actually, Hulk Hogan did beat all of them. Yeah, because they put they got they put themselves thank you. over. Thank you. They put themselves oh, over. thank you. Let's let's just answer one thing. But what would have what would have happened if Mick Foley never threw himself off the cell? What would have happened? What would have happened if Mick Foley never went through the cell by accident by Undertaker's choke slam? What would have happened? Who guess who carried that match? Mick Foley because he threw he threw. <laughs> He's the F Hogan. Listen, man, take it easy, bro. Take it easy, all right? <gasps> okay, see, Hogan, I can see him beating. Listen. Hogan, I can see that. I can see him I beating. I can agree with that Listen. one. Shut up. Bro. I can agree with him beating. Listen, <laughs> there, oh, can you see him beating Andre the Giant? Uh, No, Andre the Giant stomps him. Like, no, the they're both the same size. They're but... both the, not literally stomping him, but the under. I feel like Andre the Giant would still win. Like, 
He would. He beat Hogan. He beat Hogan. He beat Hogan, then. Yeah. He beat Hogan. Oh, that was a long time ago. So though. technically, he did beat everybody here. But like I said, they all put themselves over. He beat Hogan. He beat Hogan for the title. They all put themselves. A long time over. ago, he beat Hulk Hogan for the title. That's what I'm saying. You need you need these wrest you need these twice wrestlers. he beat Hulk Hogan for the title. Some of these wrestlers Undertaker needed in order to boost his career. Yeah, Hogan beat him too. But that was like once. One one time. That's what I'm saying. Undertaker needed a lot of these wrestlers in this list to boost his character or there would be <clears throat> no phenom but it or worked. there was. It worked. It worked due to the other wrestlers give them the, give sparring them, with them. But give him I give the, the Undertaker the, the credit. The I give them the benefit well, of the doubt. Who do you think is the top top uh, legend in this uh, the entire group? I think Shawn Michaels is the And why legend. is that? And that's for that exact reason that he fought Undertaker in two of possibly the best Wrestlemania matches in the entire okay, world. Okay, besides the Undertaker Get with there's many people on this list that he fought also. Do you think he oversold too much with with Hulk Hogan at SummerSlam? Who uh Shawn Michaels? Yeah. Yeah, he that was too much. He he was doing he Excuse was doing me. a little too extra with that one. Now okay. I'm a realist. Andre will beat Taker, but let's not forget that. He beat, he the, beat the Giant Gonzalez, Gonzalez, but remember Which was remember, against Andre, but he still beat him. Remember. Now what do you think about Andre can was able to move better than Giant Gonzalez? That was the big difference. And Andre knew how to put people over. Mm -hmm. That was the best thing because he understood the business. To me, Andre is better than all these legends. I agree. Even Hulk Hogan. I agree. Because Andre the Giant knew how to work a crowd. He knew how he to work. Like, uh, he, he knew how to work a match. He if he like knew you were going to go over, you're going to go over. You're going to go over. He will sell anything you want him to sell. But he was going to get his hand raised at the end. That's all that, all that exactly. comment. He that's all that comment. He was his hand raised at the end. Exactly. And that is actually 100% true about him. And that's what I'm saying. So, yes, we can. I'm pretty sure a lot of us can agree that he is the absolute legend in this, in this, entire, this entire. Okay. Thing. So, now. Now. Here is the question. Yes. Okay. Uh, Dave says, of, of them all, I take Dusty to start my promotion. I can... I can use Nick Bockwinkle as my heel. That would be an awesome heel. Because Nick be Bockwinkle awesome, yeah. is an awesome heel. Yeah. Now, Jaden, to end the show, mm. I want you... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I want you to name six legends to start your show who will be... A tag team champions. You can name legends to be tag team champions. In want this to be specific in this specific thing? thing of all the legends we name. Name two that can name, be a tag team together. One to be the Intercontinental Champion. One to be the United States Champion. One to be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And what is that? Six? Is that five or six? Uh, the tag team champions. Tag team US IC. Tag team IC. That's four. U.S. and then WWE champion. That's okay. five. And then you have the WCW World Heavyweight that title. That is a lot of champions. Um, so. Okay, okay. So for, I'm going to go in this order. The WCW, I'm going to give that one to Mick Foley. Okay, I'm gonna why? Be, so you want me to name all of these That's reasons? Right. That's right. Well, you said the WCW. Well, actually, name it first, and then we I'll talk about it in, in, okay, a few, in a few well, minutes. WCW, um, I'm going to give that one to Mick Foley. The tag team Excuse titles. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to the Mega Powers. Uh, okay. The Mega Powers. Okay. Uh, the IC title. I'm gonna give that to Shawn Michaels. United States title. I will probably give that one to. Dang, that's a hard one. I don't really know. Who will be the WWE champion? Mm. I'm stuck between Andre and the Undertaker. Because I've never seen Undertaker hold a WWE title ever in my life. Oh, he did. I know he has. He I just, beat the I've Hulk never, Hogan for the I've undisputed WWE like, title. And in, in, in the future, like when I seen actually seen Taker start wrestling, I've never seen him hold a WWE title. I know he has, but I've never seen it firsthand. Mm -hmm. So I would like to see Taker have the title, but... If we're going based off of skill ranks, then I really don't know who I got to give the United States title to because, like, it depends on where we're ranking it. Like, are we ranking the United States title as, like, 
this low title now, or are we think talking about like the old United States title, like when that title actually meant something? When the United States title meant something. Then I might give that to probably Vader <clears throat> or probably Ricky Steamboat. You gotta and pick one, son. I don't know. You you gave me like all these titles. You should have just gave me like three titles. Why are you gonna give me all of these titles? Okay, so not we got every, we, we got that's one. Just, that's here. just what's gonna here. make it harder. You we got one give... here. We got one. We got a couple here. <laughs> Brody says Vader and Andre as giant tag team champions. Ricky Steamboat as the Intercontinental. Hulk Hogan as WWE champion. Dusty as US champion. Flair as WCW See, champion. That's what I'm saying. You can't include everybody as champion. Excelente. Excelente. Only four champions. <clears throat> Taker as world. Savage as secondary. Flair HBK as tag. Flay to old school brass knuckles. Taker. Uh, Brian says Taker hasn't held many championships, but he has. he had his share of belts. But when he, with, with his level of cons, constant, consistent momentum, consistent, constant momentum and fame, I feel he never really needed a belt. No. I mean, that probably excluded, you know, since he had like the. He said it. He never really wanted to be champion. I mean, that mm. and they probably, that probably substituted, the thing that probably substituted that was probably his WrestleMania streak. Yeah. Since they gave him, they didn't really give him many titles. They were like, why not give this man a WrestleMania streak? And that's exactly mm -hmm. what they did. So. Yeah, I'm going to give Hogan the world title. I'm going to give Sean the IC title, the Mega Powers, the tag team titles. But yeah, the Mega Powers are Hogan. Cause Hogan you said, so you're going to give him a double title? No, I, I mean Taker. Hey, James, welcome, brother. Let me, you, you, let me you, redo you, you're coming towards the ending. We gave you the final question. Um, there's six six superstars, six legends out of every single legend we talked about. He's watching the NFL. Yeah. Um, we have six titles. We have the tag team titles, the you know, you the U.S. title, Intercontinental title, Man. WWE title, and the WCW World title. Which which Wait, superstars? The, are you oh, pick? that's the WCW. I'm thinking of a whole other <clears throat> industry. Okay, WCW. I'm gonna give to Ric Flair. Mega Powers are getting the uh, tag team, of course. Shawn Michaels is getting IC. Undertaker's getting the World Heavyweight title. And what was the other title that you listed? United States, United title? States title? I would probably give that maybe to Steamboat or... Yep, I'm going to just go with that. I'm going to give it to Steamboat. Okay. What I'm going to go with is, of course, Hulk Hogan, WWE champion. Um, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat mm -hmm. as the World Heavyweight champion in WCW. Yep. I will give... Sting, the WCW United States title. I forgot Sting was a little. I will give Roddy Piper yep. the Intercontinental title. Mm -hmm. And I will give. Hmm. Big Van Vader and Andre the Giant. The tag team championships. That'd be an unstoppable tag team. Yes. <clears throat> For sure. That is my pick. Okay, that was a good one. Thank you. Not better than mine, but it was a good one. Always gotta be a wise ass. Yeah, it, was, it, was bad. it wasn't better than mine. Jesus mine Why can't you just accept it? Because mine's was better. Don't be so damn cocky. Mine's was better. See this clown? Mine's was better. Jeez, it was I'm an ass. I'm clown. I'm just better. I'm the greater superior. Oh, you're the best the in the world. I'm the greatest of intellect. You're the best in the world. No, I'm just smarter. I think Bradley nailed it. I'm gonna go. Ch I'm gonna go with. Yeah, you as champion. That's actually not a bad idea. Bradley, I'll put that over. Bradley did nail his. I like. I like his too. I'll put Sting as Intercontinental yeah, champion. champion, and I'll put Piper as U.S. champion. I liked his too. Yes, I that's a good too. one. That was a good one. That's a very good one. It's still not better than mine, but oh, I no. still liked it though. But mine's is the best one in the world. Whatever. And everybody knows it. Whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Everybody knows it. Mine's was the greatest Never. in the world. Listen. No matter what, all these legends were awesome. Of course. They what made the business what it was today. And we can argue for hours and hours and hours and hours. Stop that. Hours. Who is the better legend? Out.
It could be Taker, it could be Hogan, it could be Michaels, it could be Flair. The point is, they all made an impact in this business. Yes, they did. But, thank you wrestling fans for joining us for this exciting show. Again, we are officially TV14. As we say, we are Evolution's riot of pro wrestling. We, why? Because we create riots to get the fans going and stirred up. Like, we just had a moment with my buddy over here with uh, Brian in there. Because we don't discuss no no politics, no bullshit. Straight pro wrestling. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You're a tough guy. This guy just slapped me again. It's all right. You're good. He's, he's good. See? You just did it again. So what? You could take it, right? Don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Take this guy out. This guy. Yeah, watch yourself. Is. Two heels going at it. This guy's not a heel. He's a baby face. This guy's this guy's the good guys. He hasn't met a real bad guy yet. He will in the future. Oh yeah. He will. In the maybe future. maybe you will. <laughs> maybe you'll feel like what the you maybe you'll feel the understatement of what true pain really is. Thank you, wrestling fans, for joining us. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Follow us on social media all over on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, our next topic, we are going to continue within the next two weeks that we are coming. He's a Hogan fan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> ah, he's a Hogan fan. You know fan. what? Y'all can both kiss my ass. How about that? He's a Hogan fan. <laughs> <laughs> the, next, the next show is going to be... Can't wait for next week. The next show that we're going to be talking about will be... A show pretty controversial. Very controversial. You guys heard this from the dark side of the ring, but now we're going to give it a version of ours and we're going to get the input of the fans itself. The plane ride from hell. A lot happened on that plane. Yes, it did. A lot. We are going to discuss that in the next two weeks coming up for our show. Mm -hmm. We appreciate the support. Thank you, wrestling fans, for joining us. For myself, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And Jay, the whiz kid of Pro Wrestling. And for my lovely producer and director, my lovely wife, Jesenia. Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening, fans.